Salt and high blood pressure. What are your thoughts on salt? Salt good for you? Is salt bad for you? Now the policy, the uh, health policy in this country is to tell people to eat less salt. We've heard this for a long, long time. The controversy over salt, however, is, has been going on for a hundred years. I'm Dr. Greg Ellis. We're going to talk about the controversy over salt and high blood pressure. Now this is really no different than the cholesterol issue that we've had for the last 50 years. People fighting back and forth. There's contentiousness between the different groups and the different belief systems about whether or not salt affects blood pressure. The evidence is overwhelming that salt has no relationship whatsoever to blood pressure and the government policy of recommending to all Americans that they restrict their salt intake is bogus. It's just absolute nonsense. Now, what do these studies show? Well, one study shows that looked at all the evidence that there's absolutely no evidence at all that lowering your sodium intake will actually reduce your all-cause mortality. Then there was a giant study called the Intersalt study where they looked at 10,000 people in 52 countries and the conclusion of that study is that salt had nothing to do with blood pressure at all. Beginning in the late 1970s, research began to show the idea that sodium restriction would not benefit the entire population. And that was a death blow to the whole idea. Now what they also found out was that reducing salt actually increased your risk of getting cardiovascular disease and increased the chances of death by all causes. So sodium restriction is not a good idea. So if you're following the recommendations that have been made, you're making a mistake. It has very little influence on blood pressure at all. There is a subset of people who are salt sensitive and others who are salt insensitive and it doesn't really make any difference there either. Therefore, the data shows and proves that lowering salt intake is not a wise idea. It's good to keep your salt intake where it is and these government policies to tell everybody, everybody in the U.S. to restrict their salt intake is the same kind of stuff that they did with reduction in fat intake. It would be a good idea because there's this very, very small subset of people who respond and have issues with cholesterol and fat. But don't, you don't make general recommendations to the whole country, to all the people in the country, when it's just a subset. And there is no real benefit to reducing salt intake. So you can keep your salt intake up. I would recommend it, but the blood pressure and salt issue is a total myth. Now one of the nutrients that is important in blood pressure control is calcium. So you should try and maintain a calcium intake of about 1,000 to 1,500 milligrams a day and that will contribute to the control of blood pressure. But sodium just has nothing to do with it at all. And they're still fighting about this. There's, you know, I have a whole file of research papers on this subject and there's two camps and they go back and forth fighting with one another and some people arguing that there's strong positive relationship and it's just not true. When you really look at the data hardcore it just doesn't hold up at all. So that's the story on salt. Keep your salt intake up. Don't restrain yourself and you'll be fine.